everybody and welcome back to the Build With Vlog. Today we have very limited energy because we were up last night looking at night paving. Bear with me. Coming to you today from Eastern Manhattan, right across the way is Brooklyn. Behind me is the Manhattan Bridge. This is not the Manhattan Bridge. Only an idiot would say that. What is, idiot. What is the bridge called? The Williamsburg Bridge. This is the Williamsburg Bridge. Excuse me. Idiot. Beautiful. This is the East Coastal Resiliency Project, the ERC. We're out here with Pasilico today. It's a joint venture between Pasilico, two other companies. The whole purpose of this job is to essentially prevent the east side of Manhattan from flooding during large storm events like Hurricane Sandy, for example. So what they're doing, there's hundreds of thousands of people that live right there that have the potential of flooding when a big storm comes in. So they're coming around the edge of the city and they're basically raising it up by a few feet, building this enormous park along the edge. It's gonna be beautiful once they're done. That also serves as a flood barrier. And then they'll have gates in specific areas that they can close during storm events that in theory, once it's all complete, will shield the entirety of eastern side of Manhattan from any kind of flooding whatsoever. It's a multi-billion dollar, multi-year project. We've seen a little bit of it with another contractor uh, further down the way. This is one more section of it, and there's even more down the road as the years to come. It's a crazy, crazy technical infrastructure project. Anything in Manhattan is just a different ball game. Everything's tight everything's busy it's pretty wild so i'm excited to be out here and see what the heck they have going on because this is it's really unique work compared to what we see typically right behind me in this hole here are the main power lines and actually running right underneath us main power lines for Manhattan. They're doing 2,000 feet of basically excavating the existing lines and coating the existing lines in carbon fiber to protect them while they're redoing this part of the waterfront for the East Coast Resiliency Project. So those are some of the biggest power lines you will see. And he said, if those are damaged, New York does not have power. I just got a little bit more context. These are oil static feeder lines. So the whole thing is not actually the power cable. The power cables run inside of this bigger line. And then the rest, the annulus, is um, filled with oil, which cools the power lines. So these power lines are so substantial, they need cooling all the way through. So they're cooled. Since these are so important and they're older, they need to be recoded so that they're good for another 100 years. So they're being wrapped in carbon fiber and painted so that it'll be good to go and corrosion resisted for 100 years while they're doing the East Coast Resiliency Project. Because they have to go through here and disturb all of this anyway, they thought might as well go and repair this 2,000 feet of, of, of line so that's good to go for well into the future. Since these power cables are so essential to Manhattan, they can't dig around them. You can't risk damaging these things because damaging them would just be bad all the way around. Uh, typically, you'll use hydro excavation, which is a water jet and basically a giant vacuum to suck up the, the water and the, the mud as you proceed. That you can't do that around power like this and it just makes a mess. So what they're doing is they're removing all the sand. The, the lines are covered in sand with compressed air. So there's two guys in there with compressed air hoses, essentially just blowing the sand off of the existing lines, exposing the lines so that they can start expecting what they're looking like. And then they can start repairing and, and recoding the lines further down the way. Behind me we have Weeks Marine with a large mounted crane and clamshell loading into the Miss Crabtree barge. 
instead of hauling it through the city. That's crazy. They just load it into barges. You have the water right here, and you can take the barge wherever you need to go far more inexpensively than if you were to haul it over the road. So they have this big old clam shell, Weeks Marine, shout out to Weeks Marine, loading it. You have the excavators pushing it into piles there, and all of that will be on pretty soon. So behind me is a soil sampling machine. It goes about 20 feet down. It'll take a sample, they'll test it, and that's how they classify the soil out here. So this is essentially how they determine what's contaminated, what's not. What's usable, what can stay on site, what needs to be hauled off. The thing is, the soil is really important on this site because they need to raise the whole site up. So they want to try to keep as much here as possible, but they need to make sure they haul off what they need to haul off and then they're going to be bringing in about a million yards of import to raise the whole thing up. So they've been here about six months, but after another few years of work, all of this behind me will be New York City's newest, most beautiful park, right along the water. This place is gonna be extraordinary once they're done. And not only is it a park, but again, it's protecting all of these people behind me from any kind of storm event, flooding event, when a big storm rolls through the city. So it's a really, really cool project. It's not just practical. There's obviously a, a core purpose to the job, but it'll be extremely beautiful and I think a really nice improvement for all the people of New York City. So that's the good old East Coast Resiliency Project. Really, really excited to come back here and see what the progress looks like. Well, with that, it wasn't too much action today, but it's really, really unique. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And with that, that's all that we have on today's vlog. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for learning a little bit about this project. We're gonna get these guys home. I'm gonna go to a wedding in New York and we'll see you on the next one. Stay dirty, everybody. Mm -hmm.